We want to cross-pollinate two varieties to try and make a, a new variety. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that the seed pod, which is in the centre of the plant, in the centre of the flower, I should say, uh, has not been pollinated. So we get one that's just in the bud and we take off the outside petals very gently. We then see the pollen sacs haven't touched the seed pod. I'm not using technical names. One thing is because I can't remember them. And another thing is I probably can't pronounce them either. We then take the seed, the pollen sacs off with a pair of tweezers. We then want some pollen from a different flower. And to get this, we need to use I use a paintbrush, a very, very f nice, soft, fine artist brush. Put the pollen on here and we touch that on the end. If you touch the end with your finger, you'll find that it is very sticky. So the pollen will stick. Right, now then, we don't want anything else going on there that's been on a, another flower, a bee or anything like that, so paper bag, cut a segment off, place it over the uh, Can include the other flowers it won't hurt and tie it round with a tie to stop anything getting in we will then look at this in a week's time to see if it's slightly elongated like that which means that it's set we can then take the paper bag off and let it grow if we want to just self pollinate the one I used on this you can see the pollen sacs in there which are these here. You probably won't see, but the pollen is actually floating about. We can then get the brush and push it down, touch the seed pod, and that is self-pollinated. When the flower drops off, the seed pod will grow on. When uh, the seed pods started to grow. It takes approximately 18, 20 weeks for it to get anything like size. It'll grow on similar to this. Well, in actual fact, exactly the same as this. Might not be as big. And it will have a twist on it. You can see that if I try to untwist that slightly, how it untwists. I've got a dry one here. We can show it. It untwists and throws a seed out in the wild. We take it off when it starts to go brown, put it in a paper bag and wait two or three days and it will start to untwist in the paper bag and throw the seed out. 
when the when you untwist the seed pod, untwist it on a sheet of paper, and the seed drops on, and it's very, very, very fine. Whatever you do, don't breathe heavy or sneeze because that'll be gone. Streptocarpus uh, gets its name from Greek and it, it actually means twisted fruit. <laughs>